Hello everybody, it's Mrs. Pound and this is the last video for Chapter 2.4 on Protus from Purposeful Designs Life Science. Today we're going to talk about Section 246 on fungus like Protus. So our objectives are going to be to recount several basic characteristics of fungus like Protus and describe the structure and behavior of slime mold. So fungus like protist are a protist that is heterotrophic and uses spores to reproduce. And in the background here, we see a fish with ick on it. Ick is a fungus like protist that is a parasite on fish. Some fungus like protists form filaments, just like we had talked about with our fungi. And so that's one thing that classifies them in this group. And you can see some of those filaments here. Some examples are late blight potato uh, that affects potato, which is what caused the potato famine in Ireland, which caused a lot of death and mass migration from that country, and ick, like I showed you in that previous picture on a fish. So those are destructive type um, fungus like protists that cause disease. They tend to be saprophytes. Most of them are saprophytes, which is an organism that eats dead or decaying material. And slime molds are fungus-like protists that look like slimy blobs. They can only move in their slime paths, too. They can actually slowly move, but they move in their slime paths, and they can move around as long as they make this slime. And I'm sure you've seen some if you've taken any walks in the forest. It just looks kind of like a slimy blob, like slime. Somebody put slime on the ground and... Sometimes it will have these fruiting bodies because they do reproduce by spores. And so you will see these fruiting bodies that it sends up. That's why it's fungus-like, because it has the fruiting bodies, it reproduces by spores, it sometimes has filaments. Slime molds can feed by absorbing decaying vegetation, eating bacteria, or absorbing dissolved food. So again, a lot like a fungus. But different. So that's why it's classified differently. So our objectives today were to recount several basic characteristics of fungus like protist and describe the structure and behavior of slime mold. So don't forget your five questions. If you can't get quite five, that's okay. And remember to keep watching to answer the questions at the end. And you can also start studying for the test because this is it.